Have you ever conducted any survey or poll using a Google form? Well, if you don't know about Google form, so here stay tuned in this video. We are going to discuss how we use Google form. So let's start it. Okay, first if you want to generate a Google form, so you have to go to google.com. Then you will sign in yourself from this button. Once you signed in, uh, you can access to all the Google features available here. So you will click on these nine, bar, uh, nine doors, Google applications, and you will click and you will access all the applications of Google. So in these application, you will find one of the application which is form, right? So you will just click this. And you can, if, you, if there are certain formats that you can use, but if you want to use a plain format, so you can click this blank one. Now you have got your uh, form format. You will uh, you will put your uh, the survey title. For example, you are conducting survey on a favorite sport. So. <clears throat> favorite sport for example so you have to uh, click here and the title will be copied here if you want to write any description about your survey so you can write it uh, we are for example we are conducting this survey for our school assignment for example right so you can write this description uh, so here you you can start writing the questions you want to ask to your participants for example first I want to know them so I am writing name so I am writing their names so here I have multiple options that I can uh, give them like short answer graph multiple choice question checkbox and so on and so forth for name it has already selected short name so this is short name here we have some options if you want this question uh, to uh, put in a required field that the participant cannot submit the form until he or she uh, does not give answer of this particular question so you can click this required button if you don't want and uh, give participant to skip any question so you can just uh, leave it unchecked since the name is very important so I am checking this right the second uh, if I want to add a question new question so you can see here we have some uh, toolbar the first one is add question right so click this and you have the second question so uh, you can write question which of the following sport do you prefer to play more play the most for example right so this is the question and since it is will be a multiple choice option and if you will provide some choices for example football the second option is cricket for example the third is hockey and tennis or you can also look for others for example if uh, we cannot add all the options there because there are so many sports in the world so you can add others so that if uh, the person the participant do not have any one of these options so they can select others right again you have to check this because otherwise the participant may have option to skip uh, this question right that you don't want okay simple if you want to add more questions so you can add also but as far as your assignment is concerned, you are just conducting survey on a, uh, on a single question. So you can just do this. So this is your form and how you can con con conclude and how you can generate we have already discussed. Now let's come how you can share this form to uh, the participants. So here you will find first before sharing it if you want to see the preview how this form will look like. So here you can see this button of I. Uh, and preview you can click this and you will see that this form will look like something like this name for example Abed and football I have selected cricket for any one of it and then I can submit right so this is uh, this is for this form looks like right so now we uh, we are we are here to share this to share the form to your participant here you can see there is a button of send right you will click this and here you can email them and there's a lot more options but if you want to share the link of the form to uh, 
through your social media whatsapp and uh, anything else so you can click this button which is of uh, a link button and here you have the link of the form that you can share if you want to shorten this link so you can just click this you can see now we have a short link so just double click and uh, it will be selected and here we have the copy option so just click and uh, uh, the link has been copied and you can share this link to anyone right if you go to whatsapp you can press this link if you want to email address you can provide this link so whoever will write this link in the in the description or whoever will click this link so the form will be in front of the person like this right so this is how you can share your form uh, okay so now, now last thing that it is very necessary to discuss about the form is that where responses will be stored. So where your form is right now here, it, it is your form. And if you want to see the responses, so you can see only one responses I have got so far that I filled in front of you, right? So you can click this, so you will access to uh, the responses, right? So this is the responses you have, uh, okay. So if you want to take the data in Excel file for your assignment or for uh, showing in the assignment, so here you can see here you have three buttons, three dots. You can click this and you will click this, download responses, right? Okay, click this and you can see the responses have been downloaded. Click this, it will show you WinRAR file uh, that you can easily convert. Click this and it is your Excel file. So you will double click and the data will be in front of you. Like this you can see that this is the data uh, uh, at this date I uh, submitted the form the name of the person is Abed and the option selected was cricket right so you can easily collect the data using this app and if you can how this is how you can see your responses uh, so uh, I hope you have understood this and you can easily use your form for your uh, survey and you can use the information to do your further information handling let me just quickly recall what we exactly did so that you can make a sense of it right okay first you will open google.com then you will log in yourself if you're not then you will go to google apps and here you will find forms click this then just generate the form on blank now give titles and start giving the questions and if you want to add question you can add question from here if you want to change their type of answer like short answer paragraph multiple choice option check boxes drop down there are so many options if you explore you will find more things in google form right how you can share this is a send button click this go to this uh, link option and shorten it to get its link copy this and share with your participants and where from you can see the responses when you open this form so here responses will be right clear okay when you go when you open your google account so if you go to your forms so you can see all the forms that you have already generated so far so for example this form has already generated now if you want to see the responses so you can just click this the form will be in front of you and you can go to responses to see who has responded and how many responses uh, uh, I have I got so far so this is all about Google form still if you have any confusion please do mention in the comment section below so that we can uh, guide you again thank you so much have a, a safe journey and have a same learning environment at home thank you